the men and women of this office are sick and tired, absolutely sick and tired of picking up a paper, watching the news, and being accused of being of racial profiling. We do not racial profile. We've never racial profile. We never will racial profile. And, ac and accusing us of racial profile amounts to calling us racists. We are not racists. We go out here every day, put our lives on the line, and enforce the law. That's our job, enforce the law. And I also got a message from the men and women standing behind me for the mayor of Phoenix, Phil Gordon. It's a very simple message. I think he'll even comprehend this. Shut up. You need to shut up. You know nothing about the men and women of this office that go out every day, put their lives on the line in the field and in the facilities. You need to shut up. You need to focus all your attention and all your energy on being the mayor and not being the poster boy for a bunch of activist groups. I am sick of it. They're sick of it. How dare you accuse this office of racial profiling? How dare you compare the men standing behind me and women standing behind me to a 1950s Alabama police agency that are racists? How dare you? Also, every time the mayor gets a chance, he's always out there saying that we make traffic stops, arrest people for cracked windshields and these minor violations. Is he kidding me? Does he not understand police work? His own police department, the Phoenix police, do the same thing. They make traffic stops on a daily basis and they arrest people for criminal offenses. The men and women behind me have nothing but respect for the Phoenix police. We will lay our lives on the line for them any time, any time. And if any agency has suffered tragedies, I mean suffered tragedies at the hands of people in this country illegally, it's the Phoenix Police Department. So Mayor Phil Gordon, my message to you is simple. Spend more time worrying about how you can keep your offices safe and stop being the mouthpiece for these activist groups because we are sick of it. I mean, I am sick of it. It's interesting to me how an ignorant people like Phil Gordon, Mary Rose Wilcox, Police Chief Gascon, members of our own Board of Supervisors and these activist groups, how these people can get 90% of the media's attention and cause a frivolous and baseless investigation into how I and my colleagues conduct ourselves on duty. Any insinuation of racial profiling against any deputy sheriff of this office, I take that personally as an insult, and it pisses me off. Nine years in the sheriff's office, and I have not done anything out of the color of somebody's skin, the content of their religion, and I have yet to meet the deputy sheriff that does. The fact is, they're ignoring, those who make those comments are ignoring the truth. And the truth is, illegal immigration is an epidemic in this country. And Arizona is on the front lines of that epidemic. The Maricopa County Sheriff's Office, the good deputy sheriffs and detention officers we have working here, lay their lives on the line, just as Lieutenant Sousa illustrated. We do that day in and day out. And then we come home at the end of our shift and we put on the TV to see that more people are looking at us and calling us racist. And our Phil Gordon calling us racist. Where does an ignorant man like that get off doing that? That's personally insulting. It's extremely frustrating and, and actually extremely... It's very offensive. It's very offensive to me, to my family, to my friends that we're being called racist for putting our lives on the line and trying to help the community in Arizona and in Maricopa County. Everyone needs to take, take a step back and realize that our, our federal government is the first line of defense against, against terrorists. Who do you think is the next line of defense? It's those who are on patrol, those who work in the streets, the deputies of Maricopa County Sheriff's Office, the law enforcement of Phoenix, and the other cities in the valley. We are doing what we can to help and keep people safe. Over the, the last year and a half that I've been with the sheriff, with the human smuggling unit, we have investigated hundreds, almost hundreds of load vehicles which are illegal immigrants being, being smuggled into the United States through Arizona illegally. And we have come across all kinds of different people from different countries. They're paying anywhere from $1,000 to $12,000 to be brought into the United States. And we have interviewed hundreds of, of those people. Personally, I've un interviewed over 100 people. I know what they are going through. You can't tell us that we don't know what they're going through. We don't feel their pain. We do. 
But you know what? Those activists out there that are accusing us of these things, do they know what, what we are going through? Are they putting themselves in our shoes, putting themselves in danger like we do every day? They're not. They're not thinking about that. They're just taking the half-truths and twisting the, the facts to fit their bill of sale. That's all they're doing. Okay? As law enforcement, we're not allowed to just go out and put our opinion out there anytime we want to because we have to present the facts. Okay? Cases have to be finished. We have to present the facts. They don't. They take the truths. They twist them to fit their purposes. Okay? I, for one, am very sick of it. And I know my, my brothers and sisters behind me, they're sick of it too. They're, it's offensive. It is offensive to call us racist when we have sworn to uphold the law of the land and to honor the Constitution of the United States.